to counter his charge move. I'm not 100% sure if it's going to work all the time, but it actually seemed like it was working pretty effective there when we were trying to use that last night. So, you know, hopefully you go in there with a couple, you know, with a handful of lives, you know, we're able to actually see, you know, and not just, you know, get just outright killed right away. As it sometimes happens. All right, let's go ahead and put the put the difficulty up to the highest one right here. Let's go and take a blast here as well as we're getting started. What's up, Mikey's jumpsuit? How you doing, dude? Welcome in. How's your treating you so far? They're having a great weekend so far, there, dude. About to take a blast here as we are getting started. Is everything going over there for yourself there? You have some more of this soul berry here. This is a hybrid here. I'm pretty sure it's Sativa Heavy though. It doesn't really feel like an Indica. A little smoke sesh before we get started here. It's all good there. Nice. Glad to hear it too. Thanks for the good luck, man. I appreciate that. It goes a long way. Yeah, this is what we're, we're, we're going to need. This challenge is tough there, dude. You know, we, we've gotten gotten a lot of different stuff cleaned up. You know, we got better strategies for level five. We got better strategies for ultimate warrior. You know, there's a lot of stuff that, that we were cleaning up that, you know, was giving us trouble along the way. There's always going to be silly mistakes and stuff, you know, but besides that, I mean, like as far as like concrete foundation for the run, it's really just Mr. X at this point, you know? You know, we even we even beat Mona Lisa on the first time on the first time on one run yesterday without timing out. That that was a that was a first. We're like, and I'm pretty sure we didn't even have a special. <clears throat> Waiting for the gummies to kick in. Nice, nice. Hopefully, hopefully it's a smooth transition there. I still have a whole bunch of. I have something like two packs, two four packs of these. These wheat seltzers, there's no alcohol in them. They're basically just like lemon soda waters. That I mean, it's kind of almost like like lemonade with almost with, with basically no sugar in it. Only has four grams of sugar per can, which is really low. That's only that's just one tablespoon. Yo, Rugal Bernstein, what's up, dude? How you doing? Welcome in, man. How you doing tonight? Hope you're having a great weekend over there, dude. We're just about to get started on the first run here. Yeah, I think we have a even better chance tonight of taking down Mr. X because like I said, you know, we've definitely polished up some things that were giving us some trouble like the level 5 level 5 incidents you know, where I was having trouble taking taking almost always taking a death right where the second large group of Galsias are. Oh gosh, yeah. But speaking of, the Galsias were getting the better of us last night. Just randomly with the punches, dude. You know, granted the granted when when that was happening, you know, there was definitely like some attribution to you know mental fatigue. You know, I just never never gonna like actually like say that while, while it's happening. Yo, what is going on, Dukester? How you doing, dude? Welcome in. Thanks for the good luck, dude. I appreciate that. Which game had the elevator stage first? That's a good question. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like as far as like beat 'em ups go. You know, a lot of them have elevator stages. So I'm kind of wondering like, where that came from. And then, you know, it's just a common thing in, in many games. So I'm just, I don't know. Seems like, it, it seems like a pretty copy idea. So I was curious. If there's a game that's accredited to that. Because when you think about it, I, I guess it's probably actually a pretty amazing feat, programming-wise, because you're basically programming a moving level, right? Which was probably really difficult to do back then. So after someone discovered the trick, that's probably when they're like, hey, let's let's do that too, it's cool. Okay, this guy's gonna be fast here. He didn't actually want the baseball bat, but... I suppose it would be okay. Oops. Got the apple a little bit early there as well. It'll be all good. Okay, the first level is obviously like is obviously pretty easy there. There isn't isn't really much that can kill you unless you're trying to rush it and just scroll the screen too much. Which that was another thing too. We discovered there's a few places where we were scrolling the screen too much. Like in the eighth level, and it seems like the there's a place in the third level where I got really confused last night. Do 
because yeah, definitely right after the mutton dude, like I said, that stretch getting to the boss is just rough, dude. Ooh. There you go. There's a knife there. I don't really think we want that against the boss. I tried throwing a knife at this guy once and he got us, he got us killed. Let me back off here a little bit so we can get this guy. There you go. Alright, we have we have a baseball bat here. I, I don't really want it against this guy. What's going on, Wastoid, dude? How you doing? I was trying to train you so far. Welcome in. Mikey Shemsu said, I feel like Doom or Wolfenstein had an elevator. I don't know. Okay, so, but yeah, but wasn't Doom like 1993? I think this game was before that even, so there had to be something before this game, right? Rugal Bernstein says, that's why I say Streets of Rage is very footsies heavy game and maintaining constant footsies, consistent, some incredible patience. What's going on, Wastoid? Yeah, how you doing there? Hope you're having yourself a great weekend there. Dukester says, hey, nice to see you. Well, yeah, my favorite, favorite fighting game character. Oh, yeah, somebody mentioned that yesterday. Yeah, his, I didn't, I didn't actually know that. I learned something yesterday. Yeah, Rugal's name is a, a Final Fight boss, right? Let me, oops, that's right. We want to try to throw this guy off screen. Let's grab the health. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, maybe not. Let me just use the special here. Uh, I don't want to take a death right here. Yeah, the the 10,000 points extra or whatever you get for... for completing the level with the special isn't worth it there. It isn't worth the life. King of Fighters, I'm sorry. <clears throat> What'd I say? Final fight? My bad. Yeah, definitely a good weekend here having some cold beers and chilling. Nice. Nice. I've got some beers chilling in the fridge right now. I'm not I'm, I'm not currently imbibing at the moment, but you know, a little a, a little later. You know, either either after we take this game down or you know, maybe like three or plus hours into the stream or something, we'll see. Yeah, I want to make sure that we have a, a good grasp on this game beforehand. Yeah, cheers to you, yeah. Don't let Don't let don't 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 wait on me. Yeah, plus, you know, I'm I'm in a different time zone than a lot of people, you know. Like a lot of the a lot of the retro streamers I know are either like Central or, or East Coast. There are a few that are in my time zone though, so be careful. I actually threw the knife the incorrect way there. But I might not have actually thrown it if I tried to go the other way, so maybe it was a blessing in disguise? I don't know. You're on East Coast time? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you're three hours ahead of me right now, so... Yeah, it's definitely time. <laughs> it's definitely time for you. Rugal Bernstein says, if if I have Final Fight, I would I would destroy the game. That game is... that game's free? You mean you're really good at that game? Like you're... Or, or what? Have you played that game a lot? I'm confused. Or is that character? I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm, perhaps I'm missing the joke. I'm sorry. Now, Final Fight's the one that influenced this game, right? Or am I wrong about that? King of Fighters is, is that, is that like a one-on-one -on -one fighting game? Ooh, gosh, okay. I did not mean to pick up the bottle. Guess we're gonna see the bottle in action there. It's got kind of a cool effect. Let me back off here, because I don't want to actually re-pick it up. It's gonna be one up there. Got both these two stun-locked here. Let's just keep them stun-locked. Nice. Ooh, okay. Hang on now. Ooh, 
There you go, okay. <clears throat> Final fight influence this game. Okay, yeah, thank you, dude. Thank you, dude, sir. I thought so. I consider retro streaming, but was intimidated. I mean, that makes sense. It's normal to be nervous, but yeah, you should give it a shot if you if you have all the all the means to. It's fun. Rumor Side says, oh no, I meant if the character was in Final Fight, he would just destroy that game. Gotcha, okay, yeah. King of the Fires used characters from Fatal Fury Art of Fighting. Got it, okay. So it was like a combination. Other two, was that like kind of like Marvel vs. Capcom or something? Ooh, careful. I'll scroll the screen too much here. Careful. Yeah, I got, I got quick. This guy seemed like he was going fast there for some reason. He has some health there. Awesome. Yeah, not quite utilizing the throws enough there. Yeah, let's just lock these guys in place. That, that works just fine. Let's take out the fast one here. Okay, I thought this one was going to come after us, but he didn't. Throw it in. Oh, nope, that didn't work. It's all good. Alright, we should have this guy now through stun lock, so. It's all good. What is going on, Shadowrunner? Welcome in. How you doing? What's up, Captain Jax? How you doing, dude? Who's not treating you so far? Yeah, welcome in. Welcome in, dudes. Hope you're both doing good tonight. Hope you're having a good weekend over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> That's it. Okay, gotcha, Duke, sir. Yeah, we got the first run of the night going on here. You know, like I said, we were just kind of recapping sort of what happened last night. You know, again, we, we have some better strategies against the Ultra Warrior, which should help. And then also, you know, I think that if we try to utilize the standing jump kick against Mr. X, maybe that'll help. You know, not or moving like this, but maybe just like standing like that. That actually seemed to do okay. So I have, I have kind of an idea, I'm not really sure if it's going to be foolproof, but it might help. <clears throat> and anything will help against that guy, dude. That guy just is too quick, he does too much damage, and yesterday I was trying to test to see that if you were more at a distance, if he would, if he would try to shoot you rather than, you know, do the charge, which does seem to have some merit to it, but I don't think that that's foolproof either. And you know, naturally the the additionals are a huge problem. Cause you know, they'll try to like, you know, run into you and even if they don't hit you, you know, Blaze will grab them or something and that'll be enough for Mr. X to, you know, come and hit you. It's kind of the same concept almost as the Ultra Warrior's clothesline from hell. It's pretty much the same thing, really. Okay, here we go. Just have the food here too. You doing well over there? Nice. Glad to hear it, Chex. Glad to hear it. You doing well over there? Shadowrunner, awesome. Yeah, it's going good here, thank you. Yeah, weekend's been awesome so far. Wayne Story said, I can certainly pull off retro stream, but I would ha it would have to be emulation. I collect records, primarily can't afford to collect retro consoles too. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it can get expensive. You can f still find some good deals, though. In, in, in some cases, depending on what you want to do. <clears throat> okay, so last, last night we actually started all the way on the right side there and it actually worked out pretty dang good yeah because it forces him force him down the bottom here when we throw him off screen and when we when we go all the way to the right side he won't hit us right away he'll go to the bottom part of the screen but that other enemy will come after us right away which is perfect because then we can move to take him out There you go, you got a safe fight there, more or less. <clears throat> yeah, so that's what we want to do against that guy to start off with, like go all the way to the right side. I got lucky there, you know, even though we didn't, even, even though we didn't do that right there. We should have though. I had a nice little collection sold before moving to Alaska. Yeah, I mean, I mean, dude, if I can go into detail with, <clears throat> with everything that I left behind before I moved, you know, from state to state, man, people would probably just like, I don't know, it was really bad. I left quite, quite a big retro collection behind, and 
you know, I kind of wish that I would have brought it with me, but it's all good, you know. Sometimes you just have to learn from your mistakes. That was a while ago, too, so definitely not going to dwell on it. But yeah, there, there's still a lot out there that, you know, is quite, quite highly affordable. So, you know, it just really depends on what you want to do. Some of it's not. You know, like, apparently, like, Sega Saturn, for example, if you're trying to, like, collect games for that, can get can get pretty pricey. But yeah, I mean, it just really depends. You know, not all of it. There are a lot of affordable Genesis games. That's usually what I go for, so... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, you know, life goes on, you know? Like I said, it's just, it's just life. So there's gonna be stuff, you know, bumps in the road and... Like I say, you know, it's good to, you know, not really regret something, but like I said, learn from it, you know. See it as kind of like a, a lesson. And, you know, as long as it's not, you know, if there's something like a, like, like, a, like, a, like some retro games or consoles or whatever, like, that's not life ending, dude. Yeah, like, you know, it stinks, but like, you know, you know, you're gonna wake up the next day, you know, and be fine. So, like I said, it's all kind of about what you want to do, you know. I like to play on the, you know, the real hardware because, you know, it's just a lot of fun. But, you know, for example, like, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually playing on the Genesis 6 pack, which was an actual release back in the day. And it had this game and five other games on it. And it's an awesome deal. And, dude, that game is only, like, if you're going for, like, cartridge only, it's only, like, 9 or $10. It's, it's not worth much, honestly. And, like, the Genesis 2 is not, it's not exactly going to cost much either. Relatively speaking, you know, if you're trying to get like a PS5 in one game and online service, like that's going to cost you way more. So it's just all about what you want to do, you know. But yeah, you know, a lot of times gaming can get expensive, regardless of whether you want to do modern gaming or retro gaming. Yeah, modern gaming can get really expensive too, dude. Like when you talk about like if you have to get, you know, like a state-of-the-art computer and, you know, a... A really good really good video card you know it can add up quick you know RAM you know you have to pay for an OS most of the time not all the time some people you know do things like I think Linux is free so some people go with that option okay careful now yeah, she's moving slow here she's gonna try it with us you can't let that happen. You probably should have grabbed the pipe otherwise. Just so we could have hit these guys, but should actually be okay. They're gonna do this little jumping thing, but we should be able to fight them back. Nice. These guys, I think, are just going to charge us. Let's just wear them down. Oh. There you go. Okay, grab the health. It's going to be the last bit of health in <clears throat> in the in this level, so... We're going to have to watch the time here. Guy. You can use a knife on him. Nice. Whew, my gosh. Yeah, look at that. Four seconds left. Oh my goodness, dude. That was close. Yeah, I also really don't have the hardware to capture it. I have a pretty... And have a pretty monster PC. Well, thankfully you don't need that. <clears throat> thankfully you don't need a, like a really upper class PC to... Oh, but I mean, if you want to, I see what you're saying though. If you're trying to emulate it and then just capture it straight off yeah, your computer, yeah, sometimes that can get demanding. But my, my computer can't handle that. But it's all good, you know, because I prefer to, ooh, I prefer and have the means to, you know, stream off the, stream off the actual hardware anyway, so. And, and it doesn't take much, you know, there's a few extra parts you need. 
you know, like a retro tank or some other sort of upscaler. Okay, let's get the knife if we can. I don't think we can, okay. All right, let's use the special just right away on this guy. <clears throat> yeah, just in case, just in case he takes us out. Whoa. Whoa, what the heck just happened there? That was really weird, okay. Yeah, all good, all good. This fight right here is pretty tough, you know, especially with the additional. Take this additional out here. Here we go. There you go. Now you just have to set him up right. Okay, that was our first death. That wasn't too bad, honestly. It was only one death, so. Easy way, appreciate your streams and vibes, man. Thank you, dude, I appreciate that. Those kind words go a long way, thank you. But yeah, you know, when I was first, when I was first streaming, I was actually streaming directly off my PS4 just because it was easy. You know, despite, you know, the, how should I say, the, Kind of like lower, I guess, standard of quality of it. It was just an easy, easy way for me just to like plug it in, you know, to my TV and just, you know, I just had the PS4 proprietary camera because that's what you have to use for that, unfortunately. PS4 doesn't take any other cameras. Yeah, it's not exactly the best. And, you know, at first I had, you know, all these other things, you know, because there's not really many options that it has for it. You know, and I didn't know exactly, you know, like how I wanted to like look and look and everything. And yeah, you know, I, I wasn't, I wasn't always just streaming games at first. Like when, when I first started streaming, it was, it was music actually. Just like strictly music. That's all it was. And then I still did play music for, you know, Ooh, the time is still running here. Okay, I thought we were scrolling the screen all the way. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you talking about the enemy there? <laughs> oh yeah, probably. I don't know. Oh, that's ridiculous. I'm not gonna repeat that, but that that's that's pretty hilarious. Guys on something, that's for sure. Yeah, the ultimate warrior, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, steroids probably too, right? You're streaming Hearthstone to some success. Interesting, but I'm not, I'm not good enough, I don't think. I mean, that's not necessarily, you know, it's not necessarily always what people want to see. You know, granted, like that's probably like where you want to, where, where, where you want to be, right? You know, and I definitely get that. You know, I don't really think that you know I'm the best gamer, you know, myself, but I do enjoy, you know, playing these these Genesis games and these Genesis challenges, and you know, now we're exploring Super Nintendo games, and I have a means for us to do, to play some Game Boy games here soon. No, I really enjoy doing it. So you know, that's kind of it's kind of where you want to be first. You know, like you want to make sure that like you know you enjoy doing it. And then like meeting people along the way and stuff, you know, that's that's one of the main reasons why why I joined Twitch was to, you know, like meet people and socialize with people and make friends. All the way and I've met some cool people along the way. It's been it's been actually awesome. Okay, careful now. Let's just stunlock these guys. We have them, so there's no reason to just let them go. Just play a safe fight here. You can still throw some of these guys into the pit. That much is true. But when we get them in the opportunity, like that, yeah, we should take it. Okay, she's not quite there. There she is. There, there she goes. There you go. Okay, so we'll get this guy. We can just pretty much stun lock him right here. We can like catch him because essentially, when these guys when these guys do the speed up across the screen to switch sides, that's when you can catch him pretty easily in a stun lock. This level's super cool, dude. I really like the background on this one. Watch out. These guys are going to try to throw you into the pit. We can't allow that to happen. Okay, 
Let's take this guy out of here. There's an extra life down here. You need to make sure to get this. We're almost at an extra life through points, too. Speaking of, yeah, grab that. Ooh, thankfully that guy missed there. There's actually some health here, but we don't, we don't really need it right now. Careful. Ooh, gosh, that guy actually got the throw off. Okay. And that is why I didn't pick up the apple right away, just in case something weird happened. You just never know. Since we were still going to fight those two guys, you know, I was like, hey, let's just watch out. I knew that guy was going to do the slide. Dude. I just knew it. Take this guy out here. Nice, okay. Let's pick up this knife and throw it at this guy. Ooh, missed him. Okay, all good. There you go, okay. Guy's pretty simple to take out there. Alexim, what's up? Welcome in. How you doing tonight? How's your weekend treating you so far? Hope you're doing good over there. Retro community is awesome. Exactly, Jax. Yeah, Jax was one of the first people that I met in the retro community. I met Jax. I met Jax over three years ago. <laughs> it's kind of kind of nuts, actually. I was, I was thinking about that the other day. I was just like, wow, dude. Like, I've known this guy for three years now. That's kind of crazy to think about. Yeah, it's been awesome along the way. I've seen I've seen Jax do some some amazing games. Stella's reading the enemy inputs. Yeah. <laughs> Exhausted, Alexa. No, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Hopefully, hopefully you got a few nights of, of rest rest ahead of you here so you can catch him on some sleep there. Or some, some relaxation time there. Yeah, good to have you here either way. Okay, careful now. Let's try to get these knife guys here. Most of these guys will actually just walk right into the stun lock here. Okay, let's take out this guy. What was what, what this guy doing? The guy was just frozen. You saw that? Okay, should be another knife guy here. Let's take him out. Watch out. Ooh, I did not mean to pick that knife up there. That kind of screwed me up. It's okay. Ooh, ooh. Okay, easy. We still have some health there, so just just hang out. Let's not get too excited here. There you go. There you go. Okay, now, let's, now let's use the knives on purpose here. I'm trying to throw them here. Oh, man, I missed. Threw, threw it too soon there. I feel like that guy was going for a slide there, dude. I, I don't like how that guy's moving. There you go. So this is going to be cool here. So you see that pit there to the bottom left? We can actually use that. Let's take out this knife guy first. Let's actually take out both these guys. Okay, so that knife is going to be... We'll be able to use that against Big Ben here. Okay, so check this out. Yeah, you can totally throw these guys into the pit. Even through here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, here you go. There you go. Okay, wait for this guy. Here we go. There you go. That should do it. Okay, we slide this green guy here, and then we'll have Big Ben. Yeah, you see, you hear that? There's, there's instantly dying because I'm throwing him in the pit there. It's a nice little useful, useful aspect. There you go, throw the knife at Big Ben. Get some initial damage right away. Let's go ahead and use a special right away, too. I want to take out this ad. He was stalling time for that guy, right? Oh, you have a five-day work week ahead of you there, Alexan? Oh, no, dude. Well, hopefully, hopefully it's... Oh, my gosh. Get him. Woo hopefully it's going to be a smooth week there. Oh, gosh. Ooh, that guy, that guy got us. Okay, move, move. Okay, get moving here. Okay, one more should do it. Yes. Awesome. Alright, managed to avoid a death there in that level. So we're only taking one death so far. Let's not get complacent though. Alright, we need to we need to play extra careful now. We cannot get careless here. So here we need to be careful not to scroll the screen too much. Let's actually back up here.
Nice. There's gonna be like three. Yeah, there we go. At some point, I, like I was, I was about to say, there's gonna be three coming from the front there. You need to make sure to lock them all in place when that happens. Nice. Okay, so now it's gonna be the knife, guys. Okay, that's one of them. Should be able to, there you go. Ooh, okay, okay. Let's take it easy now. There you go. Ooh, I did not mean to pick that up. There you go. Use it on him though. All right, that wasn't too shabby. They, they, they did hit us once or twice there, but I was not shabby at all. Let's get the points. The health here. Okay, now there's gonna be two fast Galcias. Let's try to get them one at a time if we can. There you go. So originally we were using our special right away just on the big group of Galcias, but I figured out in the beginning there that you can just scroll the screen really slow and just kind of get them one at a time until you get that trio of guys. That's a little bit of an exception there, but they're not tough to take down because you can get all three of them just in a stun lock there if you're careful enough. So that right there allows us to use the special here in a place where I kept taking a death almost every time or just taking so much damage that it would lead to a death. What is going on, Cloudstripe? How you doing, dude? Welcome in. Yep, I met you when you were playing Surprise Attacks, Jax. Yeah, that, that game was cool. Yeah, it was straight up like Space Shinobi, exactly. Yeah, that, that game was sweet, dude. That's still the only time I've ever even seen that game. I haven't seen anybody else play that game. Alright, so we can easily get these two here at the same time. They might split up now. Which they didn't. You can do the same thing with these two. Nice. Awesome, okay. Yeah, see, if you're careful here, you can actually use the bat to your advantage. A few places where where the weapons do come in handy, but it's pretty much only only the knives and the like either the bats or the pipes really. Things like the bottles are just totally useless. Should we still have the bat? I don't know. Maybe. Okay, it's gonna be just one of these guys. Let's just take him out. Missed him there. Just trying to use this, use the part of the screen there to his advantage. Yeah, Cloud Strive, I hope you're doing good there, dude. Welcome in. Hope the weekend's treating you well so far. Nice. Ooh, careful. Oop, okay. This guy's still alive here. There you go. Okay, we got him. Let's get, let's get these two here. Ooh. Let's get, let's get these two here. Look out. Use the jump kick here. This guy's me fast. All right, so we got both those guys stun locked. Okay, so we have some health there. I think this is where the. I want this pipe to be as far away from that as possible. I think this is where the ultimate warrior fight's gonna be. Probably should heal up all the way. Here we go. Uh oh. Okay, nice. Uh oh. Yeah, that was bad. Unlike the other guys, we don't want this guy to go off screen. Nice, okay. Should we grab the pipe there? I'm not really sure. But yeah, this is gonna be tough. I'm not actually taking death here. Yeah, that, that was gonna be tough to avoid. It's all good, it's all good. Yeah, 
Use the special here because there are just so many enemies on the screen. Mystic Panda, what's up, dude? How you doing? Welcome in. How's your night treating you so far, man? I hope we're doing good over there, dude. Okay, so we have an extra special right there. Oh my gosh. Where am I? Oh my gosh. There you go. Man, okay. Let's go and get the health. Probably a good idea there. That was all good. We lost nothing there, thankfully. And we do have a special here that we'll be able to use. Oh, that guy actually had a knight that we wanted to use, too. Should have suplexed him the other way. It's okay. For next time. Alright, it's gonna be one of those fire guys here. Just to stun lock him here. Alright, here we go. It's Mona Lisa time. Extra life through points. Hello, nurse. What's up? How you doing? Welcome in. How's your weekend treating you so far? Hope you're doing good over there. Careful. Ooh. We gotta be extra careful here. Nice. Got them both there. Okay, so we have the special. We want to make sure that we use it here. So we might be able to actually save a life here. Oh, gosh. Let's go and use the special. I kind of wanted to wait until their shield is almost broken. Once you see that right there, their shield's almost broken. There you go. And then you can pretty much maximize your damage. It's gonna be a close one here. Okay, there's one. All right, she's gonna move in for the suplex at some point. Oh my gosh, I think we got it. Woo, one second to spare. Man. <laughs> Muji, what's up? How you doing, dude? Cutting it close on time there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit there. How the car get on the boat? Well, to be fair, I mean, it's a pretty big boat. I'm pretty sure that's an aircraft carrier, so. So far, so good nights. Glad to hear it. How the run's going? Uh, so far, good. So, you know, this is the first run, run of the night here. It's going pretty well. Nero, what's up, dude? How you doing? Welcome in. Hope your weekend's treating you go so far so good there. Sorry, I like I like reread what Hello Hello Nurse said while, well, while I said that. I hope you're doing good there. Let me go ahead and actually give Mystic Panda a shot here real quick while we're... Pause here. Whew, man, that was... Oh gosh, that was quite a level right there. So I think so far we've taken two deaths. But again, we want to make sure that we don't get complacent here. Sunlock both these guys. Okay. Should be, yeah, one of these Electros coming in here. Careful, she's trying to size this up here. Okay, let's take her out if we can. Oop. Nice, okay. Should we grab the knife? No, probably not because there's gonna be a knife guy actually right here. Gotta stun lock him. Oh, 
Oops, I did not mean to pick that knife up. Okay, that somewhat works there. Interesting. Wasn't even trying to use the knife there, but that actually worked strangely. All right, cool. Let's grab the health there. All right, this is, we want to make sure that we don't scroll the screen too much here. Cool. Because yeah, we can basically separate those two, those two first guys from this last group here. All right, so it's gonna be Big Ben. Okay, he's actually moved towards the top there. This is rare, okay. Yeah, usually he starts moving towards the bottom. That, that might be based on my movement. Interesting, okay. I think he reacted to me. So I think I did something a little different there. He doesn't have much health. We're only a couple hits away, really. There you go. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. So far, this run's going okay. And like I said, you know, we definitely sharpened the runs a little bit yesterday. Like, first of all, being able to approach the Ultimate Warrior a little bit in a safer manner now that we kind of know how to fight him is a huge deal, dude, because that guy was just a run derailer, dude. You take like three lives or something on level three and it's just brutal. Nice. <laughs> oh, I was hoping that was gonna happen. Nice. Ooh, okay, that was not nice though. He, he made me pay for that. Okay, now we got them both stun locked. Kind of want that bat, but just not yet. Are we gonna be able to? Are we gonna be able to pick it up though? Let's grab it just in case, you know, because I don't know. That's kind of in a weird spot. Might not have been able to pick it up afterwards. a signal here and also one of the Shivas nice it's gonna be another Shiva here okay, he's just messing with us so let's just let's just use the bat on him the bat's gonna help coming up here too King Mike what's up dude how you doing Hit up a comic book con this weekend? Yeah, yeah, you, you said you were going to that. How, how was it, dude? Yeah, another awesome retro streamer there. Yeah, you said that when I stopped, I actually stopped by your, your YouTube stream when you were playing Separation Anxiety. I haven't played that game yet. Not, not, not as an adult, anyways. Peter Cohen, Frank Welker had a Transformers panel. I'm not sure I know who that is. Is that part of the original Transformers cartoon? Rob Paulson and Maurice had a pinky in the brain. Are those the, the actors to that? Pinky and the Brain's always hilarious. Here we go, we got all three of them. Had all three of them. Nice. Should be a guy with a bat. And then there's gonna be a fast call. So yeah, this guy's also gonna be fast now. Watch out. Ooh. Close one. Nice.
There you go. And you can use that machine to your advantage, dude. Okay, this is where we're gonna get the good stuff here. Ooh, careful. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I probably should have found a way to drop the the bat there. It's okay. Might have to use the special st strategically here. I hope not, though. Should have enough time to fight these guys slowly. Okay, so let's be careful here. Scroll the screen just enough here to get this guy. There you go. Okay, so now there's going to be, okay, it's gonna be Electra. Should be two of them, honestly. There's gonna be a guy with a knife coming up here too. There he is. Whew, thank goodness he's gone. Okay, and there's gonna be a signal. Extra life through points. Wow, nine lives, dude. I don't think we've ever had that many. Okay, we can catch these guys just kind of against the wall there. Nice. Okay, that one. Okay, get moving. It's gonna be some health here for us. Okay, if we don't need it just yet. Let's go and take this, these guys out before spawn the rest of the group here at the end of the hall. Okay, it's gonna be one of these guys. Let's get him twice right, right out the gate. Make that four times. There you go. Yeah, let's prioritize that fast call. See you there. Here's a bigger threat. There should be an Electra coming up here too. There she is. Okay. Let's get the health. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's take a... Oof, let's take a deep breath here, folks. All right, I'm going to take a drink of water here too. I wish they kept the... Blaze's headband for Streets of Rage 2. Yeah, I don't think she actually has one. You might be right. I think they did a good, good job on the looks, though. As far as, like, how Streets of Rage 2 looks, I think each of the characters look pretty awesome. This game has taught me that getting crushed by a huge hydraulic press would only mildly hurt. Well, I mean, it depends, actually. It's weird. Sometimes it does, a does more damage than just a little bit. Sometimes it only does a little bit of damage, and sometimes it does a bunch of damage. It might depend on where you're standing on it. I'm not 100% sure, actually. It's kind of almost like the torch that, that we observed with the... With the guys with the torches and the axes, sometimes when they throw those at you, it just it takes away like all your health. It's weird. I don't know if it's a glitch or let's go and use a special right away, because we have two specials here. Keep in mind. <clears throat> let's try to force them off the screen if we can. on top of him. Oh gosh, okay. There you go. The pipe didn't do too shabby there, dude. Good fight there, okay. All right. Level seven, here we go. Racking up lives this time me again. Let's not get complacent. This is the best run we've ever had, so we need to be extremely careful here. More careful than we've ever been. Let's just go ahead and start swinging here. No, 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 none of that.
No, no, no. Oh. We still managed to take half our health. It's okay. I was trying to throw the knife there, honestly. Be extremely careful here. Just keep them all stun locked. Yeah, you can kick some of them off and do it right. There you go. Careful. Oops. Ooh, careful now. That was out for blood there. Let's get rid of this knife. All right, moving up here. Okay, we still have that special, so let's watch our health here. If you just feel stressed, we'll use the special. Oh my gosh. Let's just use it actually. Yeah, this this group is getting is, is being, you know, a little bit aggressive here, being weird. Yeah, I kinda can smell a death coming here, so let's go ahead and use let's go ahead and use the special before it happens. Clear clear this out there, let's get comfortable here. Ooh, yeah, you see what I mean? I totally forgot that there was gonna be another one of those Shiva guys spying right there, but it's all good. That's the first death we've had in a while. Ooh, that was weird. Try to throw that guy, but it didn't work. There you go. So we actually did have some some success with the bat, and we stood in the right place. So let's see if we can actually have some success this time with it. Once again. That was actually really good. Nice. All right, so we're probably gonna use the special straight out the gate here, maybe? We'll see. Maybe we could use the the bat again. Yeah, let's use the special here. Not sure where the bat went. Too many enemies. And we'll try to. Need, we'll, we'll. What we need to do here is there's gonna be more enemies spawning, so we're trying, we need to try to throw them off immediately, one by one. If we can. This guy's moving a little slow right away. Oh gosh. This is what I was worried about here. There you go. Watch out. Oh gosh, okay, careful. Nice. There you go. Okay, it was not shabby, honestly. We're gonna get an extra life through points right here, too. Shadow, uh, Shadowrunner says, yeah, eight guys, why are you killing it? Thank you, yeah, about to be nine. Right there, there you go. Because we passed 550,000. We'll get enough points to get another one here, too, in this level. And we don't need to be hasty right away here. We can actually take our time with these groups here. So 
Let's grab the knife here. We're gonna throw it at her. There you go. It's only gonna be blue galls he has in this first group right here. It should be four of them. Yep, it's time, yep. It's time for the final stretch. So let's not get too hasty here. There you go, okay, let's take that guy out. Yeah, just, if we see an enemy there, we should take him out. Ooh, gosh, Cart got us there. Okay, this guy is quick. They're both quick. Cart must have got that other guy there. He was carrying a knife. I see it, I see it just off screen there. All the way to the right there, you see that? It's like pointing just on the carpet there. Grab the health there. So we can't actually use that. We needed a smidgen of health. It was perfect. Okay, so we need to be careful here. This is where the first boss is going to be. Okay, so let's go to the top here. Yeah, and I think his boss's name is Anthony is what somebody told me. He does have an A on his belt. We want to actually try to throw him off screen. We can help it. Yeah, this way he'll reset. You see that? He'll reset his position. Oh my gosh. Nice, we got him. We're okay. Take it slow here. Got one of these guys, huh? Okay, we got him sunlocked. These guys have a lot of health, dude. Oop. There you go, okay. We got some health there. Let's take out the fast call, see here. I feel like there's going to be more. Ooh, gosh, okay. Still feel like there's going to be another one. Yeah, I thought so. Alright, nice, okay. Nice. That guy got two guys thrown into him. Hilarious. We got these guys stun locked. Let's just hold them. Guess where we're gonna fight the second Souther here. Or actually, this is the third encounter with Souther because you run into the two of them in the factory, right? Thanks for the GG there, Shadowrunner. The default is, yeah, uh, I wonder if it ever said yes to join here at the end. The default is yes, right? I bet it is. I bet it. I'll bet a lot have ac accidentally have. What, you mean like you could... It's talking about as far as the second player joining? Yeah, let's keep throwing him off screen. Because then he'll keep resetting his position there, you see that? Uh-oh. It's close. Nice, okay. Some laughing gas there. Okay, yeah, this is where you can, this part right here, you can easily scroll the screen too much. It can be a big problem. All right. This actually might not be it. Let's grab the laughing gas though.
doesn't really matter. We don't really need the health that much, but... Seems like a shame to leave it behind, you know? Let's grab the health there. Okay, we're gonna have the purple signals here. And then we're gonna have the ultimate warrior. That, that dude already had one one enemy thrown into him, so he was kind of damaged. Okay, here we go. Need to move. Uh-oh. Here we go. Okay. That was almost bad. Nice. Like I said, you know, we've definitely gotten to, to learn how to fight the Ultimate Warrior much better, dude. Shadowrun says, I had this game on PS3. The case is called Sonic Ultimate Genesis Collection. Yeah, I know I, I know the one you're talking about. I don't have that myself, but Smokey over the line, what's going on? How you doing? Turbonica Star, what's up? How you doing, dude? I hope you both are doing well over there. Hope you're having a great weekend there. You say yes, Mr. X, you have to play. Yeah, the whole, yeah, yeah, it sends you back, dude. It's bad. Hey, you need to be really careful not to do that. Be okay, careful now. Oh, gosh. Where are the other enemies? There you go. And it seems a shame to leave, like, to leave the food behind. Okay, this is where you can scroll the screen too much, okay? Let's get the one Shiva here. Hit him three times, and then throw him. There you go. See if we can get just her. There you go. Awesome. Careful. Yeah, they're gonna try to do they can chain those kicks on us and basically kill us instantly almost. And you're gonna be sitting there saying, wait, what just happened? You gotta be really careful, dude. Brigand, what's up, dude? How you doing? Yeah, let's get behind Big Ben here. I like this color palette here for Big Ben. Yeah, he he looks like he belongs on the construction site with this. Two or three more hits like that, we should get him. He doesn't have much health compared to some of the other bosses. And compared to Ultimate Warrior, Ultimate Warrior has a lot of health, dude. For some reason. There you go. Let's try to try to get her solo. Actually left that out behind. It's okay though, we didn't need it. I didn't think there was health there. This is where the health should be if I'm if I remember correctly. Oh gosh. Here you go, gotta get him stun locked. Oh gosh, okay. Here he is. Crud. Should have him here. This guy's got a lot of health. Yeah, that's the last bit of health there in the hallway. Should 
so you get all these guys stun locked here. Nice. Okay, I'm both stun locked. That should be enough. Should be far enough out. Okay. Both these guys trapped here. It's gonna be tough beating Mona Lisa. We're running low on time. But we're gonna fight it just like, you know, just like you normally would. And hey, we'll, we'll get enough points for an extra life. What's up, Electric Snow? How you doing, dude? Welcome in, man. Hope you're having a great weekend so far. How's it going? Don't want to get complacent here, it's because we have nine lives. Still have to defeat Mr. X, dude. Nice, got both at the same time there. It's gonna be tough beating them without a timeout, but... Like I said, it should be okay. So you should regain that life through points. I'm honestly not sure if lives stack past nine, so maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Yeah, we'll look at the positives. Yeah, that, the one who suplexes it should be going down. There she goes. Ooh, I don't know, yeah, did that. We're gonna find out if they stack now. Yeah, they're each worth a lot of points, holy crap. That was like 8,000 points or something almost. Here we go. Do, do they stack? They do. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness. So we actually had 10 lives. Unbelievable. All right, here we go. We got nine lives. Come on. We have to do it here. Come on. I feel like we should get the pipe here and just hit him right away. So we'll go no. Make sure we're on no. <laughs> okay, so again, top left hand corner, same strategy here. Uh oh. Should be okay. Same thing. Just gonna call a second group here. Oh no. Oh gosh. Be all good. Be all good. Ooh, gosh, they got me there. Ooh, gosh, okay. Should have tried to do the... Jump kick there. Oh, gosh, he got me mid-air, though. Even, even right as he was shooting, I must have done it just too late. Ooh, okay, did it. I think I did it too soon there. Yeah, maybe not. Okay. Let's be careful here. Oh my gosh. And that standing jump kick, dude, I think that's like basically helping big time. Throw him. Yeah, because he's like avoiding me, I think, because of that jump kick that we're doing. Ooh, he got me with the bullets there. It's okay, we're gonna get him. You're ours now. 
Nothing will save you. Yes. <laughs> All right, awesome. First round of the night. Whew, man, I knew it was a good idea to play this here. Thank you for the GG's there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Enius Atlas, what's going on? How you doing? Random JP, what's up? Dirk Dink Dangler, what's up, dude? What is up, Night Shift? How you doing as well? Whew, <laughs> my heart is racing right now. We still have half our lives there too, but yeah, he took four lives there, dude. He took four lives. That's that's kind of kind of nuts. But dude, the jump kick was really helping. That standing jump kick, dude. You know, you don't want to do the moving jump kick unless you know you you know you're only gonna have time to to kick him and not you know run it run up and and throw him because sometimes when he's on the tail end of that. Hey, thank you so much for the sub there. I really appreciate that. Yo, Brigand, oh my gosh, dude. Thank you so much for that five stack, dude. Holy crap, dude. Thank you so much there. Social media to peace, love in California. Krimit, Soup, Matty O'Shea, Electric Snow. Thanks for the 100 bits, dude. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I try to go to death here. Here we go, yeah, death. Yeah, there you go. Nice, all right. Yeah, standing jump kick, dude, seriously. Yeah, thank you so much for starting that high turn there, folks. You folks are awesome. I really appreciate all that generosity. Yeah, thank you so much there, Brigand and Electric Snow. Yeah, Tay Tay, what's up? How you doing, dude? Thanks for the GG as well, man. I appreciate that. Nero, thanks for the GG there. Eris Remain, what's up, dude? How you doing? Shadowrun, thanks for the GG there. Picasso, thanks for the kind words, dude. How you doing, man? I hope you folks are all doing good tonight. Yeah, thanks for the GG there as well. Rugal, Taranka Star, Muji. Man. Awesome. Uh, oh, Keto, what's going on? How you doing? Thanks for the GG there as well, Keto. Yeah, welcome in. Hope you're doing good tonight. Yeah, first run of the night there. Yo, Electric Snow, thanks again for, the, for another 100 bits, dude. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, dude. Oh, it looks like I missed a blast processing there from Ding, but it's okay. <laughs> I think it was worth it there. It was probably good. We can definitely take a blast after this, Ding, okay? Smokey over the line, thanks for the bits, dude. I appreciate that. The ultimate Sega Master, thank you, dude. I appreciate those kind words. Thanks well for the kind words there, Electric Snow. That saves you, especially in the in the two axles. The two axles, oh my gosh, is that in Street Rage 3? Do you have to fight two of them? Thanks for the kinds there, as, uh, words there as well, Captain Jax. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, it's a stellar performance. Thank you, dude. That Yeah, that was the best run that I've ever had. I mean, perfect. What's going on, man? How you doing? Thanks for the GG there, dude. I appreciate that. How you doing today? Like I said, dude, man, we were doing so good there, man. It, there, we just couldn't... There was no way we could have done better, really. I mean, obviously, taking a few deaths, you know, that we did take, it was like three, I think, in total before the final level there, but that was really not bad at all. Way story, thanks for the congrats. Random JP, thanks for the bits, dude. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for all the kindness and generosity, everybody. I appreciate that. There you go. Yeah, we got the E for N. Nice. Awesome. This is not a beer. This is still just some water here, but yeah, it's all good. And what the cool thing is, I actually have something lined up for us right afterwards, too. Jax, this might be a game that you recognize. <laughs> coming up here it's one that I, I've, I've wanted to play for a little bit it looks pretty dang cool and i picked up the cartridge for it for a pretty inexpensive price it was only 16 dollars with shipping and handling even in tax it was extremely inexpensive so it's a game i wanted to share here so we're gonna we're gonna play that right after this man that was awesome let's take a blast here first of all man in street rage 2 the standing chunk kick saves you but axles especially is just so much damage I mean, dude, I've seen, I've seen people, do you know about the skate headbutt? I've seen people basically just destroy